This is the TCAP, uh, TCAP practice test for eighth grade. This is question number 15. Uh, a brand new $1 bill is 4.3 times 10 to the negative 3 inches in, thick, uh, in thickness, or that many inches thick. Uh, what would be the thickness of a stack of 200 brand new $1 bills? So I know from the question that this is the thickness. Now I know I want 200 of them. So if you have a ton of time and are possibly like a little bit insane, questionable sanity anyway, you can go ahead and add 4.3 times 10 to the negative 3 200 times. Or we can just you know use the whole function of multiplying in the first place and just multiply 4.3 times 10 to the third or negative third times 200. And if you don't know, usually the button for exponents looks like this. So I would type in 4.3 times 10, and then I need to go over to that button and type in negative 3. The big thing about a lot of calculators is you have to make sure that you click out of the negative 3. Like if you have a graphing calculator, there should be a directional button there. Click right in order to make sure that you're not on the exponent anymore. Otherwise, you'll really annoy yourself. And then multiply that whole thing by 200 and you get uh, 0 0.86 inches. So the answer to number 15 is B. Be very careful, haha, -ha, because of the fact that uh, this 8.6 is very deceiving. The reason it's sort of deceiving looking is because if you didn't do it really quickly in a calculator, uh, 8.6 is something that would pop up a lot, like you do 4.3 times 200 because they really think you're going to do this, and then do 10 t to the negative third, and you do that times 200, and then you add those two things together. It's really easy to get like 8 point, uh, to l make it seem like it's going to be 8.6, but don't be ridiculous. Just type it in and save yourself the effort.